What's up guys, welcome back to Atlas. I've got a new multi-role battle brigantine build for you for 2020 season four of Atlas. And um, yeah, it's a bit of an updated version of my last build with um, a little bit less armor, a little bit of a different layout. And the only thing I really wanted was more of a broadside cannon sort of situation gun. And I wanted to have more fun with that. I didn't want the rear firing cannons anymore. So yeah, that was my only real aim. The rest of it was just, as I always do, just go in with a flow and see what comes out. Before we get cracking, guys, I just want to say a massive thank you to my latest Patreon, Duck Reigns. I really appreciate any support I get for the channel, and obviously people becoming patrons is an awesome thing to happen. So thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. If you want to become a patron through Patreon, you can check out link in the description below, and all the details and all the um, different tiers and benefits, that kind of thing, are all there, obviously. So yeah, go check out if you're interested. Thanks again, Duck Reigns. And yeah, on with the video. Like I said, multi-role battle brigantine, updated version of my last build you might have seen earlier in the year. Um, but yeah, this is going to be entered in a competition, a boat building competition on M&M's auctions on Discord, which is um, Michael who runs it. It's been around for quite some time in the PVE community. I believe he's like one of the pioneers, at least, of the like trading discords or auction house systems on Discord for Atlas. So yeah, it's really cool. I thought I'd take the opportunity to enter the competition since it was going on while I was building this. And yeah, it would have happened by the time this video comes out, so um, check out the Discord channel and you'll probably see what happens with that in there. I will keep people up to date with it. But enjoy the video guys, I hope you like the build, let me know what you think down below. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you later.
Here we go guys, all done, finished, painted, custom sales and of course I've been to the Freeport to get the figurehead to finish it off. I love the Pegasus fi figurehead so that's what I've gone for and yeah I'm super happy with this build. Let's take a little look around, I've been waiting for the sun to come up so we could see it in the daylight. But here we go guys yeah really really happy how this come out i had no idea how it was gonna turn out i just went for it i never really have a plan when i come to building ships i enjoy just going with the flow and see what happens you probably heard me say that a few times but that's exactly what i do and you end up with weird things like these little gun turrets which if i come out here and zoom in I think are pretty damn cool and hopefully they'll be effective um, they ended up like that because I wanted the armor but I wanted to have some guns up top I really wanted to make this ship a broadsider um, I wanted it to be slightly more realistic than normal and, and fight the way most ships would um, so yeah looking forward to trying it out so we've got these cannons up top to really give it some extra firepower. And they do work. And um, yeah, had no issues with them colliding with anything. The only thing is when you walk up here, for some reason there's sometimes a bit of a bug. But these will work just perfectly. These are upside down. Well, they're not upside down. They're just the um, roof doors. And then the triangle roofs on either side of them creating a little surround to protect the gunners um, I've only got one gunner up here at the moment I need to collect some crew I'm gonna do that by sinking some ships and as you can see the uh, crew have got a uniform on we'll have a better look at that down below because like I said, this is a bit buggy when you move around up here for some reason it all works fine but yeah you seem to teleport a little bit and you get stuck and then I'll appear in the middle of my ship or something in a second like so <laughs> so I don't know what that's about but yeah, seems to be fine. Obviously got the custom sails, we'll check them out when we get underway. And I'll show it you in motion. But yeah, really happy how this has come out up top. Up on the steering wheel deck we've got the Lieutenant Podium. Is that what it's called? I think it is. A couple of cannons on the back rear facing, just in case I want them. And uh, a ballista, just in case I happen to go anywhere with a whale and also the whole idea of this ship as the video title would suggest it's a multi-role and what I mean by that is it's you know it's battle hardened it's also got the capabilities to do a bit of diving if you come across some nice high level treasure maps and me being me I like to have it synchronized so we've got one on the other side as well um, and obviously it's got the capability to also take on you know, a whale if you happen to come across one. But to be honest, I might take this off to reduce the weight because it is a very heavy ship. Um, I've not really had any levels yet, but 13 levels. I put a bit of weight on, and as you can see there, we're 10,600 out of 18,600. Um, hopefully, that's going to drop down more, but I've got to get the crew rank up higher because I need to be able to have 24 crew members, I believe, to fully cannon it and fully cannon it. <laughs> to fully man her and also allow for extra room for passengers and things like that so that's the aim at the moment and then we should be able to pump weight afterwards and get resistances got the water barrel that's nicely placed there out of the way or in the way it's like really convenient by the door and it does fill up with water if I turn the hood back on you can see there inside in the cabin as you can see we've got a few bits and pieces up here got some storage set back in these like stairwells which I think worked out really nicely just some stuff for repairs obviously gotta have spray guns and paint it's a must have for me <laughs> and then we've got a few random bits of gear in here just the essentials that you need buckets repair hammers things like that and the tools no loose balls below deck keep them tucked away guys and then down into the gun deck and another little room I've made down here with a smithy, the resource box, the beds and stuff. Um, I don't normally do this but I wanted to make this ship a little bit more 
realistic to some extent. I never build cabins and things. I really wanted to push the boundaries with this ship because I'm entering it into a competition um, on M&M's auctions on their Discord. You can check out. I'll put the link in the description below if you want to check it. If you don't know about M&M's on the PV official server, you really should. He's um, one of the pioneers of the auction house um, side of things, I believe. But yeah, he's got a competition on for some shipbuilding, so I'm entering this into it. So I wanted it to have some in a bit extra. I wanted the cabins, and um, yeah, it's got to be under 80% weight is one of the requirements for the competition. Hopefully it'll be well under that. And as you can see, in the gun room, we've got all the cannons, 12 large cannons down here. Not fully manned yet. Like I said, I'm working my way around to filling them up. Uh, you can see there the uniform looking awesome. The blue and gold uniform, even... They've all got matching headbands with a gold band around it. And these cannons look absolutely stunning. I love that blue on there. Look how gorgeous that looks. I'm impressed with this. Um, and if you're wondering, I'll always get asked this question. That's cerulean blue and gold. And obviously the side bits there is a black. Um, any of the blue or greeny looking colours you see me use, 9 times out of 10 will be cerulean blue. And it just goes slightly different colours on different textures. But that blue is that blue believe it or not so um yeah that's the color scheme yeah really happy with it down here it looks really awesome and uh yeah really pleased how this come out i can get all the way around here to do repairs which is really helpful obviously and also we can get below deck to easily run around it down here got some lanterns set in you can see there in the ribs of the ship got three of them. I uh, might put an extra one or two down here because I notice it doesn't completely light up the bottom of the ship like I'd like it to. So uh, they're on blue lights so when it's night time there's a nice blue glow under the ship. And um, yeah in the speed build you probably noticed that this door is here and there's another door on this side. I swapped them around because these two guns here, this one and this one we're really close to the doors. Now, it was letting me walk through, but I didn't like it. It was a bit clumsy. I could see that if there was ever an emergency, I was going to end up getting stuck unless the um, gun ports were open. So I just moved the door to the centre to make things much easier for myself and anyone else that's on board in the long run. And there you go, guys. I called it the Storm Cooler, which I think is a pretty cool name. I've had a ship a long time ago called the Storm Cooler. Which I ended up beaching, and it was my pride and joy at the time. It was um, when I just started, and I got the hang of building ships, and I was really happy with it. I might pop a screenshot on on the uh, video now somewhere if I can find it. But yeah, um, I really like the name, so I've bought it back for this ship. Because it's going to bring an absolute storm on other ships with its firepower. Um, and I'm hoping it's got the tankiness in defence <laughs> to go along with that firepower. But it's a beautiful ship. I really do like this ship, if I do say so myself. And hopefully it will do well in the competition I enter it into. Um, also, you can see, obviously, I've got the Bronze Beard Incorporated flags on the back. And there's one on the front as well, behind the um, figurehead there. You can see waving in the wind. There you go, you can see the flag there, that waving in the wind. <laughs> so, yeah, really happy with it. Let's get it underway and get the sails up in the air. There's the custom flags I made, the bronze beard ink on cerulean blue and uh, one for my YouTube channel, Moshman, with kind of the <laughs> web address along the top, youtube.com forward slash Moshman Gaming. Um, might have to change that, but it looks pretty cool. I like the idea of it, I just need to change the colours or something to make that stand out a bit more. But yeah. Pretty happy with that. I'm going to do a video on how to do custom sails, which is also exactly how you do custom anything in this game, whether it's canvases, you know, paint canvases, billboard signs, anything like that. I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to do it, show you the program I use to make the pictures and the program I use to import them into the game. So um, I'll get that done as soon as I can, guys. If you want to see this ship in action, um, it's going to be up on the channel soon. I'm going to be doing a live stream, but I'm not sure if it's going to be out before or after this video. <laughs> um, uh, I'll see what I can do at getting out beforehand, depending on what else is coming up. Um, we'll have to see, but yeah, either way, it's going to be in a live stream soon. I'm going to go and level it up with Tim, Rad Dude, in um, the 
Golden Age Ruins, farming some high level ships with them, trying to find a level 51 because I've not got one this season yet. And uh, just having some ship combat fun. Uh, but hopefully I'll wait until after I've entered this in the competition in case I sink it. It kind of makes sense, wouldn't it? Right? Let me know what you think to it down below in the comments section. Give the video a thumbs up if you do enjoy the video. And uh, if you've not already hit that subscribe button for the weekly videos, Mondays and Fridays, some videos in between like patch note videos, Atlas news videos, news for any other games I'm playing when I get further into things on my YouTube journey. Right now it'll mainly be like Atlas stuff for news and things like that. Um, live streams once a week, hopefully maybe two times occasionally, most of them once a week due to my work commitments. Um, so I do encourage you guys to subscribe if you want to watch the live streams because I can't set a strict schedule because of work. So yeah, if you subscribe obviously you'll get notifications when I go live and all that good stuff. Um, if you prefer you can follow me on Twitch, I multi-stream now so you can watch it on Twitch. But all the um, like alerts and that come through YouTube if you're interested. So yeah, there you go guys. And also you can join the Atlas crew now by becoming a Patreon. Link in the description below for that. They also get exclusive content, behind the scenes screenshots, little videos, and I'm starting a new series of videos on there soon, um, where you can follow my journey at work as I am a trucker in the UK, which you know I'm actually known as what you might call in the UK a tramper, which might sound funny to some people. It basically means I live in my lorry when I'm at work. And uh, yeah, so if you want to follow my journey there, you can check that out as well, as well as many other cool stuff in the future, hopefully. I think that was a sentence. We'll go with it. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below. Yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.